we're at Maxwell, about 20 k's south of Wagga in the Riverina of New South Wales. My wife, Julia, and I moved here in 2017, taking on the family farm from a father-in-law. Our main enterprises are, involve uh, cattle, uh, Angus cows, composite ewes, some trade cattle and sheep when the seasons permit. Julia's father, John, owned the farm for about 30 years and planted about 100,000 trees here. It made a lot of sense for us to continue that legacy. It's ultimately a partnership with LLS with funding, but also advice on you know how we can go about it, some of the areas to target um, first in terms of priorities. And we threw a bit of a farm plan. It allowed us to extend some existing tree corridors and connect up to other corridors, and then understanding the process a little bit more and making sure we're doing things on time. So spraying out, deep ripping earlier in the season before it sort of gets wet, and then you know, timing for planting, and, and then also longer term around grazing management the immediate benefits for the process are the bird life activity. Given we're so close to Livingston National Park, we've got the swift parrot and the squirrel gliders. It allowed us to create habitat for those endangered species. But I think the other big one is creating shelter for livestock, wind breaks, solving some of our erosion problems in this creek um, that we've got here. This is the Kings Creek that connects up to Sandy Creek. Um, previously, this was open grazing country um, so we we're able to fence this off on both sides and yeah you can see the benefits of it now how it's grown a lot of vegetation to slow up that erosion. This is a bit of a high salinity area that's been another focus for us with planting back up in the recharge areas and getting perennial pastures and deeper rooted um, perennials to try and soak up some of that. Um, uh, water and, and runoff as well and I've noticed the the benefit of that. This is our fourth year of being fortunate enough to access some of the grants and some larger projects that we may have had to have done over two or three year period we were able to do quicker um, which has been you know, hugely beneficial in the last three years with the seasons. I would encourage anyone to explore it. The initiatives that are going on, look what's in their area and at the end of the day we're creating greater biodiversity and having more protection and cover for livestock as well as wildlife, it's really positive and we'll continue to do it.